Hey friends, Timmy here. No, you can't see me. I'm generally behind the camera, but after fan days, I felt like I had something to say, so here it goes. Fan days this year was incredible, but one thing that really struck me as the best thing centered around our group of geek reporters. Guess what? They're fans too. I'm kind of a flutter on cloud nine right now because I've just had the experience of my nerd life. Marcellus got to scratch one off of his bucket list when he met the great Stan Lee. Just a man who has that kind of influence in your life basically turns you into the geek you are. He's an oxygenarian and the age he was, I know I wasn't going to have a lot of opportunities to meet the guy. And you take the picture and I'm like, Mr. Lee, I want to thank you for your contributions to the comic industry and entertainment. And as you know, it's great work. I appreciate everything you've done. And I shook his hand. He shook my hand. Oh my God. Stanley! I touched Stanley! Sharing in the experience of Marcellus Coe meeting his one idol of Stan Lee and stuff and, and sharing that emotional experience with him, let me just say that it's just been a rewarding experience coming here. Miss Sosa enjoyed seeing another featured guest. The highlight of uh, Comic-Con for me was listening to Felicia Day speak and as an actor, I feel inspired by her because she created her own web show and it became very popular and now I know that I can go out there and create my own thing and not wait for someone to cast me in anything. Oh, you're that girl who makes that geek show really really, really by a geek. Hello everybody, Alex Shavinia here with Geekvengers Television and I'm here with the lovely and talented Anne Lockhart from the original Battlestar Galactica series. And brother Alex got to chat with an old friend from a classic sci-fi show. I'm good, how are you Alex? Good, good, it's good. It's good to see you again. Thank you, sweetie. He actually met Anne Lockhart about 10 years ago at a con. I think it was great for both of them to catch up with one another. Well, thank you for talking to us, Anne. It's always a pleasure to see you, sweetie, whenever you come around. Same and to you, Alex. Thank you. The story of, of how Anne and I actually kind of know each other now, it's been about 10 years or so. She actually did a show up here in Plano, and I had built a plastic replica of a Viper, and I had her to come and autograph it, and she actually conned me out of it by saying that she would just love to have this, she autograph it, and auction it off for her charity for for horses and stuff, and it's like, when you get a request like that from a star, how can you turn them down? And ever since then, she's just always remembered me for that. I really enjoyed meeting an artist. Sam De La Rosa was one of the lead artists on the standalone Venom series that was done in the early 90s. Venom is both my favorite Marvel character and one of the greatest bad guys of all time. As for the videos, we plan on bringing them to you as often as possible, simply because we're fans. We hope you're our fan too.